So today I have a very exciting video that for some of you may just be interesting, while for others you might be learning something new that you can brush some dust off of your old negatives, hopefully there's no dust on them, and you can actually digitize these things. Now this is not the greatest process in the entire world, it's just super quick, easy, fast, and free that you could do at home. Sometimes professional services can get a little bit expensive with these things, and if you really want to get a quality scanner that scans in your negatives, you're gonna be looking in the hundreds of dollars for those as well. Now there are some alternatives for like 40 to $100 that I've been looking at for myself. But what I'm seeing in the reviews is that if you ever wanna print these particular scans in a bigger size, bigger than like eight by 10, you're probably gonna to wanna to look for something more expensive. So I'm still on the fence about if I wanna buy one of these things or not. In fact, I just, want to share some of these photos that I took over the years on social media. So this is how I'm kind of doing my work around until I decide if I want to buy a film scanner or not. So of course what we are learning today is how to digitize black and white negatives and I'm going to put an emphasis on black and white right now. I don't know much about color processing. We're just going to emphasize if you do have color negatives this will still work to a degree but as far as getting those things colorized you're just going to have to look around YouTube and see how that works. But all you're going to need today is your black and white negatives a cell phone and a digital camera with preferably having a tripod and manual focusing. Now in this tutorial it's going to look a little funky because I actually had to hold the camera to kind of get some points across but you know you're, you're, you'll get it. It's, it's fine. So let's Hop into the okay, tutorial. so here's exactly what I do with this. First of all, you want to go to Google Images or somewhere like that and just find a bright white background image. And I just get a solid white image here. You just click on it and then I kind of pinch it to make it full screen so that way I make sure the negative is going to fit. Now I just simply put this down onto a flat uh, surface and then I grab whichever negative slips that I want. Now you may want to use gloves or something else like this. This isn't a particular negative that I care that much about. So this strip, you know, if I do get some scratches or something, it's not that crucial. But you simply just lay it down onto your phone and then you'll take your camera and you're just gonna hover above this. Preferably, you wanna be doing this with a tripod, but you wanna get it in focus as best as you possibly can and then snap the most highest quality picture that you can, preferably in RAW. And then we hop on over to Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do, now that you've taken a photograph of the particular negative set that you want, you wanna get that transferred over to your computer. Basically what I do is just drop everything from my camera to my iPhone, ultimately back to my computer so I don't have to take the SD card in and out. And you're gonna be basically left with something that looks like this, just a picture of your negative on that light board, that light box. In my case, it is my cell phone. So what you wanna do is to take that JPEG file or whatever format that you had there, and you're just gonna transfer that over into Photoshop. And so you're gonna end up with something like this. And basically what I do is just go ahead and crop down as close to the image as possible here and just pick the one that I really want to concentrate on and work with. So we're just going to go ahead and do that quick crop and perfect. Now we're just going to resize this so we can see it just a little bit better. That's a little too big. And then all you have to do is hit Command I on your keyboard and that's going to invert that image so it gets it out of that negative back into a positive. Now you're going to notice there's a little bit of a brown tint to mine and all you have to do to get rid of that is go to image adjustments and then you're going to go down to desaturate and that's going to desaturate that image back to a black and white. Now from this point forward you can do whatever you want with the image such as I like to go into camera raw filter and just go ahead and apply. That's a little bit too extreme right there. That's the, the last settings that I used, but it needs to be tweaked a little bit. But you could see that you can do a really good job with these prints and then you can turn them into some cool things like this. So that's it. That's my super quick and fast and easy way to be able to process negatives and get those things into digital format. If you want to print these or get better quality, I highly recommend sending these off to a professional service or saving up the money and getting a legitimate uh, negative scanner to use. There are ones that work well for color as well. So if you do have color film and you still watch this video, there are scanners that will, you know, fix that color stuff for you because I, I don't exactly know how to do that. But if you did find today's video interesting or at least helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you do have a scanner or anything of that sort and you would like to tell me about it in the comments section, please do that below. If I do decide to buy a scanner, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to do a review, show you how it works, and definitely be sharing images a lot faster than doing this here 
method. But that pretty much sums up today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And as always, be sure to create something new today.